I am Professor Carl Clark. I work at City Hospital in Birmingham and at the University of Birmingham. I have a particular research interest in Parkinson's disease and run a lot of large-scale trials across the UK looking at drug treatment, surgical treatment and rehabilitation in Parkinson's disease. There are three diagnostic features of Parkinson's disease. The first is the tremor. So this is a rhythmical shake which is very often referred to as pill rolling because it looks like the patient is uh, rubbing a pill between their uh, fingers and thumb like that. Uh, very often seen at rest and best seen with the patient with their arms down by their side. The second clinical feature is rigidity or stiffness. So this is a stiffness when we flex their wrist up and down in that sort of motion. It's like moving a piece of lead pipe up and down and sometimes there's tremor superimposed on top and that gives it the feeling as though we're running our finger across a cog. So it's sometimes referred to as cogwheel rigidity. The final clinical feature is bradykinesia or slowness of movement which is often done, tested these days by getting patients to tap their thumb and index finger like that and of course I can do it quite quickly and keep that going uh, without any problems at all. Whereas a patient with Parkinson's disease will be not only slow but as they do it for a longer period of time the amplitude decreases and the rhythm starts to go so they start to fail to beat on time. So the initial three cardinal features of tremor, rigidity and bradykinesia will deteriorate over time but additional features do become evident, particularly things like dementia and depression.